All right, guys, this is my first video uh, for day two. RJ Martin table. He has four knives for today. Uh, the ladder is going to be at four. Uh, looks like this is Q36 Super Slim with the frame lock. Ooh, I like that better. Even on the, even on the pocket clip. Even a zirconium. Yeah, this is zirconium pivot. Really nice blade steel. S125E. Oh, this one is a little bit different. I mean, it, it looks the same. The pivot is a little bit different. So if this one the same, I'm not gonna flip it. So I'll try, try to play with this one. Check these colors, guys. Check these colors. Ta da! Ooh, did you notice the um, one side is a different color? Yeah, yeah. And there's a pocket clip matching the presentation side. All right, guys. R.J. Martin at Blade Show. 2019. All right, guys. So this is R.J. Martin, 2019 Blade Show. Ask him questions. Ask him questions. Yeah, we were speaking with. A, I was speaking with a couple people. Uh, it seemed like um, this being one of your your first collaborations with a different with a different maker. Um, there were some reservations at first whether or not uh, it was going to be successful. Well, what are your thoughts about uh, the collaboration with Zero? Once I once I understood what you know how the process worked and, and what we were doing, obviously Sergey is a, a great maker, mm -hmm. and we become friends. And for me, it's important to work with someone that you know and trust. Mm -hmm. And I think once we got into the details of the of the project, it was obvious that it was going to be a big hit. Good. So I'm very happy with the result. Yeah, it's really great to see that Sergey has really uh, kept kept the design. Uh, has, has really you know preserved the original design. I think it's really great. I think you can see looking at the two knives. Um, these two guys, these two knives. This is the collaboration piece between Sergey Shirogorov and RJ Martin. This is Q36 uh, Super Slim, right? Right. Super Slim from directly from RJ. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so pleasure. much. This uh, this video is gonna make uh, not only your uh, followers happy, and I think. All Sharagora fans going to be really happy too. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. It's, it's, a, it's a great combination. Yeah, great. So. All right, thank you. All right, you guys have a great day. All right, guys, just want to show you, really want to show you really close to this one. So this is the Q36, and I know it's really hard to um, compare it because this is the overkill, Russian overkill now. But, you know, at least I can put it side by side the way you can see it. Backspacer itself looks like the Sergei Shirogorov style. This is complete RG Martin costume, so this is knife. So I can show you the satin finish and everything. All right, guys, what do you think? What do you think? Four piece clip, and originally we thought you were going to need much more. This one is a little stiffer, uh -huh. you, so we added this. Uh, textured button and it, it works the same way yeah. but for production we wanted to simplify it to the point where it was just as easy to do as a as a regular clip it's really it's really nice small so this light. Is, I, I call this model the Invictus and um, this one the reveal so this is this is the final version of the design and it, it's 100% blush, won't snag, won't catch, and this is how it sits in the pocket, guys. I mean, yeah, it's, like, it, this, like is, this. this is actually how it sits in R.J. Martin's right. pocket. <laughs> Maybe my pocket is going to look different, but, <laughs> right? I love the choice of G10 here because, like you know, you were saying before, you kind of have to use your thumb well, to pull see, it out, so then it really yeah, gets you, in there. You do want to have some texture, which I always like anyway, because yeah. I think texture really Im improves, the, improves the knife. Um, good job. So you just got to work the most innovative design for this? Yes. So it, guys, it's congrats. Strong. Congrats to RJ Martin for this one. Thank you. Looks good. Thank you, RJ, for um, showing all this and My explaining. Pleasure. This is My really pleasure. nice. 
so this well, this is my own personal carry. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I see that's really what is it, three point oh or three point two? This is about a hundred thousand, so in millimeters. Three um, three millimeters. Two and a half. Two oosh. Oh, I almost little, said shoot. A little <laughs> over two and a half. I actually I have a blade that because my hollow grind mm -hmm. is is actually thinner behind the edge. I had a blade that I was grinding and, and it I, went too it, it, far. Buckled, it buckled. Wow. It got so thin. So this is probably in millimeters. Uh, zero. Six, six thousandths of an inch yeah, in millimeters. Zero. Uh, point two, point wow. one. Wow. Uh, is this, the, is this the, the super, super, super slim? It's a super. It, <laughs> this one is. It's not SS. -S, this is SS. -S -S -S. <laughs> this is insane, insane super slim. But anyway, so I, I showed I showed it to Bartan because I knew, and he goes, "Can I buy this?" I'm like, "No, that's mine." That's I, mine. I, he goes, that's my personal one. I said, "Okay," because I could never sell it because I yeah. get it back in a week and it'd be broken. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Oh. But um, wait, is it cut? Ooh, I'm sure it's a slicer. The, the edge is uh, ten thousandths. So 0 0.25 millimeters, maybe, at the edge. What material did you use for this one? This is this interesting steel called uh, Zephanet. Oh, okay. And... Uh, oh, I like that pocket clip, I've too. heard of it. What are the... What are the products? Well, I, the reason I wanted to try it was because it's it's supposedly um, excellent for very thin grinds. And as you can see, it, it if I think if I did that with S125E, I would, <laughs> I would have broken oh, yeah. it. It yeah. would snap already. Um, and uh, it's a bearing steel. It's mm. got nitrogen in it, and uh, it holds an edge well. It's not as good as 125 base, <laughs> but it's done pretty well um, so far. And again, that's why you know I, I make a knife. I'll carry it for six months, see what it can do. You know, for, for cooking and, and anything like that, it's going to be great. Um, but uh, you know, you can see it's it's a little beaten up. You know, it's got some scratches and dings on it. I mean, you can tell it's a user. You can tell it's in a... Give it some well, love. and that's what I do is I... So I have um, a, a guy that hunts, and he hunts a lot. And so I'll make him a knife, and I'll grind it ridiculously thin, and I'll say, all right, go try to break this. You know, go... Don't baby it. Don't, you know... Like, go right. nuts. <laughs> and so he's done... <clears throat> With this one alloy um, that I got from Carpenter, just insane amounts of animals, and I, I expected to get it back broken after one season, and you know, so. Uh, but that's you know that's what you have to do if you want to. I, I love how um, you know with the, with the with the texture you have here on the, on the rear part of the handle, how that shows up on the carbo course. You can really see the, the two different. Uh, this, I wanted to do something different, and you know everybody makes it a knife. It's flat and. It, but they're boring, you know. Yeah. So I wanted to have the same hourglass texture that you have on the Q36, yeah. just yeah. in a thinner version. And then what I did just for fun is the texture of the clip follows the texture of the. Of the I noticed scale. that. Yeah, I yeah, noticed yeah, that on yeah, the yeah, table, and I even said that in the video. I'm like, this is what I like. It's well, not just. Don't don't put this on your on your video. But the next thing I'm going to do is is oh, wow. and then it'll just. It's going to be interesting. We're waiting. We're waiting to yeah, see that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, my swim club, we have colors black and lime green. It's like, you know, that right. lime green. So, Nate, orange is good, but I think this knife with the lime green is going to look really good. Is it, uh, is it okay if I hold it sure, and go play course. with it? Oh, So, guys, take a look. I mean, this is so light. This is so light, guys. Wow. Honestly, like I don't even feel it in my hand. I've been using S125E for forever. Yeah, so I just, I really love seeing that. I love seeing you like push that on the light. The lightning is here uh, inside of this cab gallery. Not the best, but, you know. Hardest carbide that you can actually get in steel. That's personal RJ Martin's knife that came right out of his pocket. Thank you. It's too difficult.
that's how you know that you're getting the best night. I think well, what, what better way to uh, celebrate two of the most, I think, respected makers using S125B than a collaboration? Well, and I, was, I really thought it was nice that they made my knife out of S125B. Of course, it has to be, right? Because I don't think Sergei is a fan um, <laughs> of working with that material, but he did it. He did it for yeah, me, yeah. so that was that was pretty awesome. Too. But uh, and we're going to do the. Um, I, I believe they're going to do the um, initial release of the knife in S90. Really? Which is yeah, right up there as well. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah, the so. up, I think last the couple of operations have been in Van X37, right? So yeah. seeing that S90 would be really nice. S90 he's using on his custom divisions a right. lot right he now. He said he really likes it, and that's, yeah, you know, his favorite steel, actually. when you get up to the level of S90, S110B, S125B, the differences, I can tell the differences yeah. most people <laughs> feel never see. All right, thank you. Thank you for sharing all this information, and it's, you know, it's always a pleasure to My see pleasure. you. Great to see you. Bro. All right, thank good you. to see you. Keep up the good work. All right, bye.